just like today, at the time of Jesus, there were many different groups of Jewish believers. We hear a lot about the Pharisees, and the Pharisees were a group who believed in the resurrection of the dead. But the Sadducees, who were, <coughs> who were our, the ruling party, who were, were the temple, you know, the high council, the priest council of the temple were made of Sadducees, they did not believe in the resurrection. They only accepted the first five books of the Torah, the books they thought they were, writ were written by Moses. And that's why they asked Jesus this question. Now, you might think, well, you know, who cares what, if there's life after death or if there isn't, isn't, when we get to that point, we'll find out. But it matters a lot. Because whether we believe in life after death or we believe there's only life in this world, that determines how we live our life today and now. And a great example is the first reading that we've been listening from the book of Maccabees for this whole week. It's when the Greeks decided to force the Greek religion on the Jewish people and did not allow them to practice their own faith. And there was this family of, you know, seven children and their mother who refused to follow the orders of the king and eat food that was not allowed for them to eat. And they all died because of the refusal to obey the king, even the mother, as she watched her seven children die. Now, if there's no life after death, that wouldn't make sense. Just you can eat whatever you want to eat. If there's no life after death, then what we should be living by is to make ourselves the happiest possible in this world, because that's the end. But then there is, if there is life after death, Jesus also told us how we're going to share in that eternal life by living the commandment of love, loving God, loving our neighbor as you ourselves. And that has a great impact on how we live our life today. A lot of times we get into, you know, this question, well, how's heaven going to be like or what's heaven going to be like? People say, you know, Father, is that going to be like the perf best perfect golf courses there? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe there will be. Maybe there will not be. But remember, all these things of this world gives us pleasure now. But when we get to heaven, our source of joy, our source of pleasure will be God. We won't need all of those other things that on earth we feel we need to make us fulfilled, to make us happy to make us joyful in our lives. Maybe there will be, maybe there will not be, but what we will know is that all of us will be joyful, live in peace, there'll be no more sickness, no more death, no more tears, and we're all rejoice in our Heavenly Father who chose to bestow on us the gift of adoption, making us his adopted daughters and sons.